I'm here, Midsummer Scream, terrific ending. No way to end it better than with the Halloween Horror Nights panel, man. I mean, that's I can't even get my words. You announced so much good stuff right now, man. Talk to me. Uh, what you know? You talk about when you do the maze in the in the scare zone. It's mm -hmm. one of my favorite things, by the way. Um, what with is the monstrous? You mean like the connected one, just or just in, in general? Oh, overall, in okay. general, you guys always done that, and it's one of my favorites. What is the biggest creative? Um, difficulties doing that with the maze and then trans transporting it out to the scare zone? Um, sometimes with that particular location, because it spills right into a scare zone, we try to like link them together right. so that they're the same theme. Um, and sometimes we don't. And in this particular case, uh, Pat Quinn on my team, who, who comes up with all the ideas for the scare zones and then comes and pitches it to myself and my partner, Chris Williams, um, he's been pitching this one for like years, and it's like so good. luchador themed scare zone. And at fir the first time he said it, I was like, ah, that's funny. And then, you know, we did something else. <laughs> and then this year I was like, you know what? That's like kind of a kick-ass idea. <laughs> and then once Pat started, you know, working with our artist, Lucas Colshaw, to draw them up, and when he was doing his research with our with our partners in the DEI team in terms of like actually being able to source these luchador costumes, you know, in Latin America from right. the sources that make them, you know, right. and I started seeing it all come together. I was like, oh, this is like awesome. It's so cool. Maybe one day it'll be a haunted house on its own. Oh, I, I, I'm praying, especially with the world of wrestling, the way it's popping right now. I mean, this is the perfect time. To yeah, it, it just see, so, it feels like the right time to do yeah, it. Yeah, this is uh, this is gonna be awesome. And I have to ask you, you know, you mentioned. Um, Leatherface being a part of that Mount Rushmore of like, yeah. the slashers. In your eyes, though, who are those other three? Oh, it's tough. I mean, if you're slashers, you got to put Michael Myers up there for sure. Hundred um, percent. If it was slashers, it'd be Freddy Jason, Michael Myers, and <laughs> and, and um, Leatherface. But I'm a classic horror. You know, like I'm. For me, it would be. Actually, I think I have this. I think I have it in my monster room. I do. I have a Mount Rushmore. It's like <laughs> Frankenstein, and I think Universal made it as a consumer product. Like years ago and I've always had it. Um, Frankenstein, Dracula, the, you know, the Wolfman. I probably put the Phantom on there though. Of course, 100%. Well, Halloween Horror Nights, this Halloween season, you're not gonna wanna miss it. So many great stuff, Insidious, Monsteros, much more, Texas Chainsaw Massacre that just got announced. That was amazing. Uh, make sure to come. John Murdy, a pleasure Thanks, man. as always, man. Thank you. My pleasure.